the milk producers in California have a, a big ad campaign about happy cows. Happy cheese comes from happy cows. Happy cows come from California. Wow. You've seen it? Yes. It's all BS. It's totally, they, they have the, show these talking cows on grass. One of them, the, the cows say, oh, so much grass, so little time. Oh. The truth is, the vast majority of the, the milk and therefore the dairy products made in California, made from California dairies, come from cows who are in dry feedlots. They never see a blade of grass in their entire lives. They stand around all day, they don't, there's nowhere they can move or go, and then they get milk three times a day. And they have been bred for so much milk production that it just takes everything out of their bodies. It's so ex extravagant, the, 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 the uh, milk production now. And um, Mil dairy cows would have a natural lifespan of about 20 years under favorable conditions up to 25. Um, in, in the industry today, they're lucky if they become, reach the age of five because they're just chewed up so fast. If they're injected with, with genetically engineered bovine growth hormone, which about 40% of um, uh, large dairies in the United States do, uh, and a higher percentage of those in California, um, some of those cows give their own weight in milk every 10 days. Their bones get completely depleted. They're just crippled. Um, it, it, it's a form of exploitation that is so severe. You know, we, I, I remember being told, oh, the Hindus worship cows, and it's a su superstition, and they're hungry people. And, well, we have some sacred cows. Profit. Greed. And when we want to shift our lives so that we don't support that, we don't enable that. We aren't codependent with it. We don't, aren't in collusion with it. We aren't any more passively resigned to it. But we're now revolutionary, everyday revolutionaries in how we live, breaking free from the cultural trance, stepping out into our life passions.